Hey YouTube, Madam Roy back again. Well, I got the first gateway monitor hooked up. This is the Gateway FPD1520. And I thought I'd hook it up to the old Dell Dimension XPS D233 for a test. And, um, you know, the guys know this is running DOS. I've shown this before in one of my previous videos. But without any further ado, smoke test. There's something coming up. That's a good sign. Not quite synced to the top. Let's see if we can do something about that. There we go. Auto adjust. Okay, yeah, now it looks right. <clears throat> All right. Well, it's definitely working. Let's see uh, what Windows looks like. Windows 3.1 on a LCD screen. Wow, I would say that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can adjust the uh, brightness or anything up here. Nope, nope. Let's auto adjust. There we go. Brightness and contrast are almost all the way up. That That's to be expected with a monitor of this age. Definitely has some miles on it. And as it heats up, it'll get even brighter. But... As you guys can see, she seems to work pretty good. Go into a file manager here. Nice and bright. Um, the resolution isn't too bad. This is only a 4 megabyte uh, video card, so it's never going to look perfect. But, I mean, for an old system, an old monitor, that, that's pretty darn clear. Might have to save this one for a test bench screen. I'm actually very impressed with this for the, what, $5 I paid for it. Well, here you guys can see some of everything I have installed on here, and it's a lot. Kind of start from the top and go down. Um, Beauty, that's Beauty and the Beast. I got Bicycle Cards, Blake Stone, we got the Caves Games, Cosmic Cosmo, what else we got on here? All the Duke Nukem's, including 3D. Uh, a bunch of epic mega games. That's, I think, epic pinball right there. Hocus Pocus, Jazz Jack Rabbit, Jill of the Jungle. All the Commander Keen games. Um, Magic. A couple Mario games. One of them is actually like uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. It's a, uh, it was originally a Linux game that they ported to uh, DOS. I'll have to show that game in a, in a future video. That's really neat. So anyway, that's a bunch of... Oh, I got... Uh, there's uh, Monster Bash. That's always fun. i got quite a bit of uh, games and stuff on this computer. But yeah, I would definitely call this a success. So uh, I'm pretty happy for $5. It's only a 15-inch screen, but... Um, you know what? For that price, I'm not complaining. I'll be back in just a moment with the other monitor. Alright, so we're back with the second monitor that I picked up today. This is that Samsung 150S. And let's give her a try. Smoke test number two. This one is also coming on. It's funny, this one actually had a proper sync on it from the get-go. You know, one thing I always worry about with these older monitors is bad caps, but it seems like those are monitors from around like 2003 to like 2008. Unlike the uh, the towers, these older ones from like pre-2002 seem not to have capacitor plague. 
Let's do something a little different with this one. Let's load up an oldie but a goodie. There we go. Oh, and I'm sorry guys, I don't have the uh, speakers plugged in at the moment. I had to use that to plug a monitor in, so we'll see the game, but no sound. Now this one is a little off sync. You can tell it's not filling up the whole screen, so let's try to hit the auto button and see what happens. There we go. Now it doesn't always work that well with the LC monitors. That's why for old DOS machines, you always want to have a CRT screen uh, with, because of the refresh rate, and they don't always sync up properly with these uh, modern LCD screens. What well, I call it modern, semi-modern. But as you guys can see, it is definitely working. This one actually, I think, has an even nicer picture than the uh, Gateway does. Let's see if we can adjust the brightness here a little bit. Bring the brightness up to about 85. And we'll see about the contrast. Okay, I guess you have to go into the menu to get to the contrast. Contrast at 70. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can bring that up a little bit. Usually like to bring that up to about 85. Well, you can see it's even gotten brighter since. This looks like this panel is still in good shape, even though it's uh, pushing 14 years old. So I would call this a success. So these two monitors I got for a total of $11 work just fine. Well, that's going to be it for now, everybody. Have a blessed day.